All right. Vlog number two. Uh, what am I going to talk about today? Uh, there has been a whole bunch of stuff that's been announced. Um, the Mario Kart DLC, uh, Pokken, which is the uh, the Pokemon uh, Cross Tekken. I don't know why it took me a while to actually remember that. But uh, yeah, this is a whole bunch of stuff. But um, the one game that I've been playing a crap ton uh, for today, because it's come out today, is uh, the almighty Lethal League. Um, if anybody doesn't know about this game, uh, Lethal League is this... Um, how can I how can I describe it to you guys? It's like Smash Brothers, Stroke Pong, Stroke Baseball. <laughs> the idea is is that you're uh, constantly batting a ball around, which is just bouncing all over the place. And every time you keep on batting it, it gets faster and faster and faster. And whoever gets hit by it basically loses life. And if you lose your lives, it's game over for you. And it's such a great game because um, I actually played the Flash demo that they released um, quite a while back and I absolutely loved it. And today they actually uh, released the full game on Steam. And I was on that like a rash. I had to get the game and I've been loving it. There's a single player mode, there's a multiplayer mode, there's a versus mode. Everything you expect from a fighting game is in here. And uh, for those who don't know, I, you know, I, when I got my Ouya, I used to talk about this game called um, Towerfall. And the thing with Towerfall is that it was a local only multiplayer game. A lo well, a local multiplayer only game. There was a single player element, which was training, where you just shot at dummies, but... Mm, Reptile games actually went as far as actually including an online and even including a uh, a single player mode, and it's it's incredible. It's really really good. I mean, if you if you're dying for a fighting game which is very different and not the typical you know combo combo mania fighting game like the, the newer street fighters even mortal Kombat has done it you know you've got games like blaze blue which really concentrates on how many times you can hit a person before you slow down and i'm not good at combos that's why i'm not really into these modern fighting games anymore um but lethal league is my kind of game because it's so completely different i mean there's no combos you're not even fighting each other. You're just trying to make a ball go as fast as you possibly can. And you're just hoping that someone else gets hit by it. I mean, that's pretty much it. I mean, I don't even know if you would even classify it as a fighting game. But it really does feel like a fighting game. I mean, they are actually using fighting game netcode for the online. I mean, it's, they're using uh, G, uh, what was it GGPO or whatever it's called. Or GPPO, um, which is used in a lot of fighting games. And, I mean, because of it, the latency is incredibly low and short, which means that you reduce the amount of lag, um, which is just fantastic. And that's what you need for a fighting game. Uh, but, yeah, I've been playing this game quite a lot. I've been playing it on stream. You know, I haven't streamed a lot recently. I might even uh, throw some video of uh, today's streams uh, onto YouTube. But, ah, uh, this game is so but going back to the Mario Kart 8 DLC, which was uh, revealed on the UK, um, uh, the UK Nintendo Store online, not the eShop. It was actually revealed on the uh, the website store, you know, where you can actually buy games from Nintendo themselves, which is always a little bit more expensive than just going to an actual proper website. But um, it was actually kind of cool because they actually announced Link. You know, and it's cool, but it's also very weird because this isn't Smash Brothers Kart or Smash Kart or whatever people on the internet like to call it. Uh, it's this Link, and he's on a goat. He's on a go kart, or he's on a motorcycle. And you think they didn't really have vehicles in the Legend of Zelda? They had horses, so I'm surprised that uh, you know there isn't 
Apona is not actually a, uh, a vehicle in this DLC pack. Although what is cool is that you can have the blue Falcon from F-Zero. And there's even going to be a F-Zero style track. There's also going to be an Excite Bike style track. And they're also going to have uh, another piece of DLC that will include uh, Animal Crossing characters as well, such as the Visitor and uh, Isabel from the, uh, the 3DS game. But yeah, it's, it's, there's been a lot of news recently and a lot of really awesome games coming out. And uh, yeah, it's cool that, you know, I, <laughs> it's just generally awesome. So I've been playing a lot of uh, Lethal League. I've got back into playing games on my PC again. That doesn't mean I'm going to abandon the Wii U because I still need to uh, beat some more of uh, Mario Kart, actually get as much as I can out of it. Uh, I still need to get back into Pikmin 3. Um, but yeah. Uh, oh yeah, I did actually purchase uh, Hengaki, which was uh, the uh, the game I actually was mentioning the other day. And uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, I wish there was manual shooting. You see, the, the shooting is automatic, but you do actually get these other weapons which you do use manually. Um, but it's, 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 it's a cool shooter. Um, just if I made the game, I may have made a few ch uh, changes out of it, but I'm not the one that made it. But anyway, uh, yeah, I'm out. Thank you.